So after last time, um, I was told that apparently this does have a plot. There is one coming. It's not just vacuous cuteness. Normally I'd ignore such things. If it comes from one person, it's normally a fan. If it comes from two people, it's normally a fan. And the developer telling you, no, there's definitely a plot. Three people? That, that can't be a coincidence. There has to be a plot at some point, right? So we were going to try and get through it as much as we can and... Ah, if I just play like that, and I can only roughly see out the- it, this- that's so much better already! If I play like this, it's impractical, but better. Fortunately, I will have to look at you. I'm organising your bookshelf, because we've just come down into the lab and something, something, something. Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for another few hours. I do not require sleep. I- of course she doesn't. You're- you're fucking sweet. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Is she going to be like a kid? Mom, why did you move my stuff? Oh, it's here. I don't know why. This is here. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Oh, may I come in? And you already did, but whatever. I guess it's fine. Naive. Syrup. I've noticed a trend with the books on your personal library. Oh, yeah? What's that? They're all very boring. What? I mean, they're all about candy making. They... What did... What did she think they were going to be? Roll dull? <laughs> Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with reference to magic. Magic? Throw it out. Wait, isn't this... Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. How the fuck do you notice that? You're a sweet? Yeah, yeah, see this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sweet. Mate, that... That's just ice cream with cherries, banana, and seemingly some caramel. That or someone's pissed on top. That might be why you're struggling. A legendary confection said to only have been created once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. Eternal? That's just gonna melt after a little bit, isn't it? That's not gonna sit there and stay the icy, lovely, creamy ice cream you want forever. Those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. That doesn't sound enlightened, that sounds like Tumblr again. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet require both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create it on their own. Does that mean I have to do it with her? With Prick? The ultimate sweet? Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastille I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastille wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot about it by now. Syrup, we should make it. I see the plot. Ah, like I said, I had to give up on it. You can't make it without magic, so I didn't want to. But we can ask... I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. Look, I, I don't hate you. That should be enough, okay? You're a walking suite of cuteness. I don't hate you. That's fine, isn't it? Uh... Eh, right, maybe not. You're always going to go, go on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely. All right, Candy Weirdo, let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet without magic. Good, and while Master Pistil eats it, you can eat me. I've said a thousand times I'm not eating you. Disappointment. We already know what happens if we eat you. You look miserable because you're being eaten. <sighs> Not even a clever candy. Come on then, we'll need to do some research before we go out gathering ingredients. Alright, keep an eye out on, for any encyclopedias about plants. Pl 
candy alchemist, what a surprise! And you brought your new assistant, to what do we owe the pleasure? It is the well-dressed twins from yesterday, are you also looking for books? No, my dear, our family owns the library. Of course they do. They look wonderful in their top hats. Oh god, I have a top hat. Uh, do I get it down? Yeah, come on. I mean, we're here now, right? I may as well. Look, it's just here. We'll, we'll, we'll cut a second. There you are. I did say I had one. Look, it's fucking huge. It's actually a stovepipe hat. That's how big it is. See? Do I look amazing in it? I now look like one of these people. They're like my brethren. I'm the bigger brother, of course, because my hat is far, far bigger. Anyway, cut back to me not wearing the stovepipe hat. Really, huh? You ought to have known that. Certainly you've lived here long enough to know by now. We're always dilly-dallying, so if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to the proper shelves. How convenient. Oh, fuck me, we're going to use them. That's incredible. We need information on a certain plant, so if you could help speed up the process, we'd appreciate it. Glad to be of assistance, Candy Alchemist. Hang on, just because they own the library doesn't mean they know it back to... Like the back of their hands, does it? I mean, you don't work there. You haven't gone through... Eh, whatever. Especially about specific plants. That's an odd thing to know. We look forward to tasting whatever it is you're synthesizing. All of the plants in this book look so interesting. I would like to see some of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. We'd have to travel pretty far to even see half of these. Travelling with syrup. We would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Or I'd end up hating you. Have you heard of cabin fever? Oh my god. Your neck. I'd be put in prison because of how many finger marks were around her neck. You know? That wouldn't end well. <laughs> Hopefully for this thing we won't have to go too far. Oh, this page. This is exactly what we need. Frosted Cream Miller. Frosted Cream Miller? Really? A rare species of vanilla orchid that miraculously thrives in frozen conditions. It's got to be Russia if it's frozen. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but its fruit can last up to three days depending on storage temperature. Because it inexplicably grows by, from cryotic soil, it is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ice goddess. Silly ones, probably. According to all this, we should be able to find it on Mount Saw Bay. Oh, come on. I think you're making places up in the world now. I don't think that exists at all. But it's impossible. We definitely need magic to even have a chance of finding it. So we will ask a witch to help us. I'm sure Miss Butterscotch would absolutely not. Then how do you plan on getting the final ingredient? <sighs> Look, it's not going to happen. That mountain is a home to a ton of monstrous beasts and it's freezing gold. I'd probably die if I went on my own. I shall accompany you, Syrup. Ah. Uh... <sighs> it's a good thing she doesn't have a nose. I feel I would have broken it several times. You wouldn't be able to move in those temperatures. You made out of candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put me in your mouth and stop. We're not going. Did that say going? I read that as gong. That's a whole different sentence. Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? Kind of a waste of effort if you ask me. You're right, Syrup. It is silly. Let's quit. Are you angry? Nope. Master Pastille will not even know that he missed anything. It really was a waste of time. Gumdrop. Absorbed in thought, Syrup takes her time returning home. Was it worth to deny her friend what would surely be the most delicious treat in the world just to hang out on her stubborn pride? I swear if this is a fucking ending. She had never thought about it before. Asking a witch for help seemed impossible for a variety of reasons. But soon she might just have to. Thank God it's not. I thought we were going to have to do another playthrough. I was about to cry. We picked all of the cute options, all of the one which no reasonable person over 15 would choose. <laughs> oh, 15, jeez. Oh, Sai, where have you been all morning? Out. Fair enough. If you see Gumdrop, could you ask her to run the register for a while? Business has been picking up, so I actually need the help. Woo! You trying to share about my shop? She isn't here? Oh, I thought she was with you. No, I, I might know where she went. Just keep working. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll be back. Not like I have any choice. Oh well. 
The worst thing it has ever done. Fucking gumdrop, I tell you. It's the candy alchemist again. Look, I need your help. You're the only people I can ask. I didn't want Pastille to know anything about this. Oh, what is it? Something serious? Need to bury a body? I could do that myself. You don't need magic for that. You need a shovel. Ugh. You need a shovel, you know? Dick, you need nothing else in that... Uh, whatever. No, Gumdrop ran off. I think she went to Mount Sorbet to get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever. You guys don't need to know the details. Oh, so that's where she was going. I saw her pass by and wondered. What? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but the girl was on a mission. She barely even told me where she was padding off to. She just pointed to the mountain. Mountain. And said, that way. You should know I have a... Policy. Policy. Of never asking too many questions. Curiosity only leads to trouble for folks like me. I'm amazed they haven't used, like, you know, cat got your tongue line yet. Useless cat. At least she confirmed she was definitely going in that direction. I wonder how far she got. Planes. Flying. We can just do... <laughs> do you think something bad happened to her? What if she got eaten along the way? If it's too cold, she won't be able to move. And if she doesn't come home, Pastille will get all upset and blame me for it. For not going to a fucking freezing mountain! We need to ask our arch enemy to come up for the sake of creating a delicious sweet that it'll be over in a couple of minutes. Oh god, how dare you not go on this crusade for a magical sweet! <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. She wants me to make the special recipe for him, and if he knew she was only trying to get the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well, I guess I'd blame me too. No one would do that because there's more context than that. It's not as simple as that. <sighs> Say no more. I'll help you find dear sweet gumdrop. But only if you give me a taste of, what, of whatever it is you're planning to make. <sighs> I mean... Come on, that's a face that would get you into prison in most real life. Look at that! And all, all this over essentially a candy which has the mentality of like a four-year-old. And she's going... <laughs> oh, God! Non-head cannon, the witch is actually a paedophile. God! Okay, let her help. Well, fine. I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste, that's it. We'll negotiate the terms later. Let's go get your candy back. What about you, cat? Feel like can climbing a mountain with us? No, he's a cat. No, thanks. That place is full of snow and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a sweaty dweller at heart. Just wait right here for us, Toffee. We'll be back before you know it. Probably won't, mate. It's a mountain, which is miles away. Be safe. He didn't seem too sincere about that. That's me? Really? And you, you've just decided the robe, the robe's fine. The robe's... The hat has eyes on it? I've only just realised. And a beard. Man, your hat has some problems. I hate the cold. It's not that bad, but I guess it's different for someone who's not protected by magic. How about I bury you in the snow to see what your magical protection does against that? Oh, my dear Candy Alchemist, aren't we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way to a party member. This is gonna... Can't talk that way to a party member. In any Final Fantasy game, there's always certain party members who hate one another. Just saying. Uh, not you too. Gumdrop's always insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do things my own way without annoying pe tr people trying to befriend me? Uh, annoying? I didn't say we should be friends. I just think it'd be best if we cooperate. Fair enough. Really? This place could be pretty dangerous. I've read there's ferocious wolves that'll gang up on you and rip you to shreds. Wolves? I'm not afraid of any wolves. There is a stutter in that. Did she blindly agree to come along with me to a fucking mountain? None of which she knows what is. Because she might get a taste of a sweet... How are these people alive? Surely they would have died of doing something stupid if they don't think things through like that. Oh my word. 
How about a whole pack? Do you think you could take them out with your magic? D -d -d easily? Oh, really? You're trembling. Cold weather. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would have blamed. Uh, that's just because of the cold. Hey, w what's that ahead? I is it a wolf? A monster? Syrup? Do something! No, it's probably gumdrop. I think we found... Oh, fuck, we've been calling a gumdrop the whole time. Bollocks, who's best... No, I think we found Prick. It was Prick. She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, candy idiot, I told you this would happen if you came up here. You're lucky we found you. So someone was looking for her. Oh, the wolves are friendly. I... Wolf! Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching this golem for a while now, wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. Huh, you live around here? No, he lives in the Caribbean! <laughs> we actually came to find a special plant. Do you think you could take her to your house to thaw while we go get it? I promise we won't be too long. But Sarah, what if she eats her? Dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See, nothing to worry about. This way's a lot more convenient than taking her all the way home, then having to like all the way back up here for one little plant. I don't mind taking her in, seeing her frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. Sure, I'll just call you Mr. Convenience. We don't even know who you are. Why should... Oh my god, someone's speaking sense. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. We don't even know who you are. Why should we trust you with something as valuable as living candy? Treat. Huh? It's my name. Now we're acquainted. Your name is Treat? What? Sure, whatever. I was just thinking, that there's got to be a misunderstanding. It's just like, oh, I'm going to treat you. You're going to what? What does Treat do? No, I'm going to treat you out. Ugh. God damn it, Trit! You know what I mean? All right, Buzzcotch, do you have any other problems? Or can we get going now? No, no, glad it's all settled. Let's go find your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home. Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Syrup? Eh, I smell a pretty powerful smell on that witch. She really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. I guess ordinary humans can't sense that kind of thing. It's plain as day to me. Anyway, it smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return your golem later. Sure, thanks. Not going to ask more of what it is. We're not going to... Whatever. After receiving directions from Treat, the pair continue up the mountain. Syrup felt at ease knowing the gumdrop was... Knowing Prick was safe. But Butterscotch seemed to be having a rough time. Things only got worse as they ran into trouble. Scary wolf. Scary wolf. Whatever. I mean, you look like you're embarrassed to see it. I don't know what you're doing. Other than, like, shitting yourself. A real wolf! What are you doing? Scare it off with your magic! Oh, take this, monster! Oh my god, it's an actual animation. Wow. That's something I didn't think this game would have. Great, you turned it pink. You turned it pink? That is supposed to be a fireball. I don't know what happened. A cute game like this. You're about a fireball. A wolf. It's air could set on fire. You bastard. Either way, I guess it worked. Lucky break. Butterscotch. You wouldn't happen to have like a curse on you or anything, right? R rude. <laughs> rude. I'm not cursed. I'm completely fine. I just lost focus and messed up. It happens to everyone. Your teeth are chattering to you. What happened to your magic protection against the cold? It's windy! And maybe I'm not as strong as you thought. Are you happy? She can deal. She can deal with it or she can deal. Now's not the time to be playing cards. Uh, let's offer her our coat because we want the good ending. Do you want my coat? What? No! You need it, don't you? I can make a sacrifice if it means you'll be able to talk normally again. Thanks, you're not as mean as I thought. It came back with more. Time to go. More? It came back with one more. Syrup and Butterscotch escape into a frozen cave. The witch hastily seals the entrance with ice, forcing the walls to abandon their chase. What? She's not as strong as we thought? She shit at magic? 
When wanted to cast a fireball, she casts something pink, but she can just make a what? An ice wall? Okay. Exhausted, the pair takes a well-deserved rest. Hey, you all right? No, this is awful. I should have stayed home with Toffee where it's safe and warm. I'm starting to relate to someone again. Just saying. Well, at least we should be able to find what we're looking for in here. This is in this is the exact environment Frosted Cream Miller thrives in. You can just chill here if you want. I'm going further in. How dare you make a joke at a time like this? You're as bad as Toffee. Sir, wait, don't leave me alone. How are you? You have a coat, damn you. Stop moaning. Yeah, whoa, yep, found it. I mean, we need to use it within three days. Is this going to be one of these 71 hour things and we think it's lost and then just do it in the last moment? Because why else would you say, oh, yeah, well, lol, you can only do it within three days. Like, Jerk, how could you leave me behind like that? Oh, is that what we came for? Yeah, I just need to grab some of the fruit and we can go home. Great. Grab a ton so we never have to come back. There's no reason not to take loads. But you just know it's the wrong answer. For, oh, well, what if someone else wants to come back and try this thing with no one else knows about? I don't have a use for that many, and if I need more, we've got an experience now. It won't be nearly much as trouble for us a second time, right? You'd want to go through all of this again. I don't know. I think we made an all right team. Bonding. But all I did was mess up. We got what we came for, didn't we? Now let's get out of here. Not even going to say anything back to that. You're just going to leave the hanging. But, but I messed up. We got here eventually, didn't we? Like, Christ, cold. Um, hey, you look really cold. Y you should take your jacket back. Huh. Ah, nah, don't worry about me. You're smaller. You need all the warmth you can get. I don't feel right hogging it. It's your jacket. Just take it back. If you insist. All right, magic the ice away so we can get out of here. Just going to turn it pink again. Take this. Nothing's happening. Quit messing around and break the ice. What if the wolves are still there? I don't hear them or see the shadows. We should be fine. Right. I get for real this time. No. Is something wrong? I'm just stressed out. So my magic's not working, right? Shut up. So we're trapped in here. No, we're not trapped. I'm a great witch. It's just this stupid spell doesn't want to happen. Okay, we're a little trapped. Magic is connected to your state of mind, right? Try and calm down. Calm? I'm calm as frick. Butterscotch. Everything's out of control. My emotions are completely in check, so my magic should be working just fine. Butterscotch. What? Talk to me. What's wrong? I don't know. It's cold. What if I can't get us out of here? Are we going to die because of me? Oh, we can all dream. Oh, what a heavenly dream that would be. <laughs> no, you're a great rich, remember? You'll make it. But I can't even get this spell to work. Seeing the cave was an accident in the first place, I panicked and it just... Hey, you'll get it. You've got talent. If you could make prick, you can melt ice. So just take a drop breath, a deep breath, and try again. I didn't. Hmm? I didn't make prick. I don't know who did. I just took the credit to make myself look better. So sorry you thought wrong. Stupid ice wall. Stupid wall. Stupid, stupid. Not saying that word. This is just more cute things for getting angry. Ugh. Or some of you looking at this going, Oh, she's so cute! Oh, my eyes are tingling! And, eh, grumble. The thing is, is if you like cute things, this is brilliant. This is fantastic. Just not into that myself personally. Remember, every time I bash this game for cuteness, it is merely subjectivity. If you like it because it's cute, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you. Maybe a little bit of judging will occur, but that's fine. It's fine. Just wanted to get that out there. Butterscotch, is your magic still going haywire because you look different? Huh? Oh, my spell came undone. Don't look at me. This body is just an illusion. It's not the real me. Oh, that's not very convincing. This is what she meant. That wolf girl from before told me you were wasting all your magic with some useless spell. It's not useless. I need it. I can't let anyone except Toffee see me this way. Please don't tell anyone. What's the difference? Okay, so she looks like that. Like that, okay. No, that's going forward, isn't it? This one just needs to go back. Exactly the same. 
exactly the same. There must be something I'm missing. What do you hype find a transformation all the time? People don't take you seriously when you look like I do. I want to be a beautiful fist in which that everyone admires, but instead I'm 12. Yeah, I know the feeling. You're... Everything about me is fake, all right? I'm always lying to everyone. I'm barely any good with magic, and I can't even bear to let anyone else see what I really look like. And now we're going to die because I'm a big fat coward who can never tell you the truth. Are you happy? Well, say something. Aren't you going to yell at me? Don't you hate me? I don't hate you at all, but a scotch. I never have. Well, what are you saying? Sometimes I wonder why we're always fighting, but I guess that's because the way we are. But it's not like I ever actually hated you. She apparently comes to my shop all the time and buys shit. I don't understand why we hated each other anyway. You're lying. Why would I lie? There's no point, since we'll both be dead soon enough. Unless we figure a way out of here, that is. Wow, where to heap the pressure on? Jesus Christ! Well, but, I mean, I thought you hated anyone who could do magic. You do, don't you? That's not it. I just... I think that being able to do things without magic just takes incredible understanding of the world and its elements, and that's awesome. So when it feels like no one else sees that, I get frustrated. Maybe I don't trust magic users in general, but still, no, I've never hated you just for being a witch. What do you mean, just for being a witch? You mean you did, but it wasn't for being a witch? What, why are you staring at me like that? Aren't you at least going to make fun of me for looking like this? Why should anyone care what you look like? It's not their business, you're not hurting anyone, so who cares? You look the same! She's exactly the same! Am I missing something? She is still a ginger 12 year old, isn't she? She was before, and she is now. What am I miss- There has to be something I'm missing. That I, something blatant that I haven't seen. Has to be. You just don't get it. Everyone thinks you're cool and don't even have to try. You don't know what it's like. Yeah, I try hard to be taken seriously too. Everyone sees my alchemy as a gimmick. It's like I'm doing cheap tricks compared to anyone else in that town full of magic users. Well, well anyone can make decent candy with magic, but yours tastes the best. Of course they do. I'm a genius when it comes to candy making. Humble as well. Humble is what we have to add to our list of accolades. Jeez, you're so confident. I have to be, otherwise I'd just give up and do something boring with my life instead. Hey, remember the first day we met? Uh, hope not. When I came into your store to make fun of how bad your alchemy would make candy taste, but then you forced me to try a piece, and you were so impressed that you begged me to teach you how to make them, but I was still mad so I refused, and you declared us rivals. Yeah, I remember. Could you teach me? I just think maybe if not for our big egos, we could have become friends sooner. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Thanks, Syrup. I feel a lot better now. My magic might work now, so I'm gonna give it another shot. Isn't this truly heartwarming? Do you... Is your heart warmed? Fuck, it should be, mate. 